Let's turn now to the second platform in the integrator series, the Symmetrix Jupiter. This innovative and unique DSP includes turnkey system designs covering a wide range of possible applications. 85 installable apps have been tailored for specific use cases by the expert engineers at Symmetrix. The Jupiter utilizes analog inputs and outputs to minimize network infrastructure where an AV over IP is not advantageous and features near zero programming time for rapid deployment. Jupiter is ideally suited for applications requiring powerful, extremely cost-effective advanced signal processing where higher levels of customization is desirable. As with all other Symmetrix digital signal processors and audio accessories, state-of-the-art sound quality is expected and delivered. The Jupiter DSP is available in three different I.O. configurations. Each differs only in the number of inputs and outputs available. Let's look at the front panel of the Jupiter where the I.O. configuration is clearly marked. The right bank of system LEDs indicate power, arc, and network connections. The power LED will be solid green to indicate the device is powered on and fully operational or flashing while the device is booting. A green arc LED illuminates to indicate that there is an arc port connection, or RS-45. The network LED illuminates green to indicate network or Ethernet activity, or amber to indicate acquisition of a network address in DHCP mode. The front panel also has I.O. bicolored LEDs indicating audio levels. Green indicates signal present greater than negative 48 dBU, Amber indicates signals between 0 and plus 23 dBU, and red indicates clipping at greater than plus 24 dBU. Now let's look at the back panel of each of the three Jupiter I.O. configurations. Depending on the configuration, there are either 4, 8, or 12 balanced analog audio inputs with individually software-selectable microline level that's negative 40 dBU or plus 4 dBU, as well as providing phantom power. Additionally, there are either 4 or 8 balanced analog line level audio outputs with individually software selectable levels of either negative 10 dBV or plus 4 dBU. External control inputs are used to trigger an emergency system mute, preset changes, individual mute buttons, or even volume control. Each of the two external control inputs may be configured to respond to two switch closures or the change in resistance of a single potentiometer. Jupiter logic outputs can be used to drive external LEDs, relays, media servers, projectors, camera controllers, or almost any device capable of responding to simple logic commands. The Ethernet port is used for initial programming and control of the Jupyter DSP. It can be connected directly to a Windows PC or accessed through a switch. A small hole houses a button that will either return the unit to factory settings if held, or if the DSP has been assigned a static IP and the address is unknown, press the reset button briefly to return to DHCP. The ARC port can connect to any of the Symmetrix line of ARC wall panels. Please note that only 24-volt DC ARC devices should be connected via the ARC port. Connecting non-compliant devices can damage the Jupiter DSP. We'll talk more about ARC control shortly. The Jupiter uses an agency-approved 24 volts DC input power supply. It ships with an auto-switching, universal voltage external power supply, North American Type B and Europlug Type C cords. Additional cords may be provided by regional distributors.